So as the, um, the US and Canadian markets move to T plus one next year, there's been a lot of discussion around the potential impact to market operations. And so the benefits of moving to T plus one are obvious, um, less counterparty risk, less margin requirements, um, but we shouldn't forget that there's also operational risk involved in moving that transition to T plus one. So the consequences of moving to T plus one have um, uh, impact across the value chain. So uh, it's not without risk and we should ensure that all firms um, have um, mitigations in place uh, and have made sure that their systems and processes are ready for that transition. The impact um, is across the value chain. So um, global custodians, um, asset managers, brokers, right down to um, clearers and local custodians and even the settlement system itself um, has uh, changes. So clearly these changes have different impacts depending on what type of firm you're in. So for example, the, the middle office of asset managers and brokers and you have to deal with, it, uh, deal with allocations much more quickly and exceptions around those allocations. Um, custodians need to be able to process settlements uh, much more quickly without exceptions. Um, so the impacts are, 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 are dependent on the firm that you're in. And I think we'll see much more of an impact, uh, much more of an emphasis on ensuring that things like SSIs, fees and commissions, allocations and failed settlements are, or issues with those um, uh, processes are resolved much more quickly. Well, obviously North American markets are not just for North America and people deal with those markets um, all around the world. So take Europe, for, ex uh, for example, if you're based in Europe, you have less time between the end of the market uh, close in, in North America to deal with your um, uh, post-trade processes. So you know, people in firms in Europe need to make sure, uh, perhaps even more so, um, that their exceptions are dealt with in, in a timely manner. So I think this puts pressure on firms to make sure that they have robust STP processes, they have processes to manage exceptions and mitigations um, for those, those exceptions really quickly. And that can have um, some unintended consequences, not just for operational processes, but also for market structure and also for, uh, uh, for competition between firms. So that needs to be taken into account, not just the, the operational side of things. So I think about this in, in, in three different ways. The first way is, is um, I think there'll be an increased use of exception management tools. Um, so there are some fairly advanced tools in the market or, um, already um, for dealing with exceptions very quickly, spotting them, putting them on dashboards, prioritizing them, and then opening channels between counterparts so that human interac interaction can resolve those issues really quickly. So that's one, exception management tools. Um, secondly, I think there'll just be in a kind of more traditional sense of a greater emphasis on STP processing and the use of standards and ways to ensure that SSIs um, are completely in line. Um, and finally, we can think of it more in a kind of radical sense of a, it could lead to more of a transformation of the market um, itself. And so in that respect, we think of uh, new technologies. Uh, DLT, for example, um, could, um, we could find a way of eliminating the kind of sequential processes that we have at the moment when one party hands off a process to another party and those those, those, uh, those new processes could become much more transparent where all parties can see exactly what's happening with a particular uh, trade through post-trade um, all at once. So that's another way in which I think uh, the market could change probably over the medium to longer term.